Hello. In today's video, we are going to talk about some of the text functions like length, left, mid, etc. with the help of an example. So first, let us go to the Microsoft documentation page, review the syntax, and then try to implement them. So here is the syntax and the definition. So returns the number of characters in a text string. So it's simple, right? So let's go to the second function, find. It is the starting position of one text string within another text string. Find is case sensitive. Okay, so basically what it does, it returns the position of one text string within another text. Okay, we need to remember it's the position. Okay, so it takes uh, four parameters. So the text which you are search looking for within text, okay? Uh, within text, it can be a, a text or it, you can give a column as a reference, etc. And the starting number, so the position from where you want to look for that particular text, okay? And if you do not find, what is the alternate result? Let's try to do, do this in PBI. So let's go to the other function left returns the specified number of character from start of a text string. So the syntax is here, the left text, a text or a column reference, and then number of characters you want. Okay, so it takes two parameters, mid function. So returns the string of characters from the middle of a text string, given a starting position and length. So the text, this, is, this can be a text or a column reference the starting, num starting point from where you're looking for and the number of character from that position. Okay, so it takes three parameters, text start number and number of characters and the right function. Right function is similar to the left function, but uh, it starts from the right side. So the syntax is right of the text or column reference and the number of characters. So it is also simple. With the help of an example, let's try to implement all these functions in PBI. So here I have the sample data. So we have employee name, company name, and email address. For this demo, I'll be just using the employee name and then try to implement all these functions here. So let's start with length function. Let me call this as length equal to, let's say I want the length of the uh, particular text, in this case, it's employee name. So the column name is employee name, enter. So I'm getting the length of this particular field or value. So Mr. Orlando Gee. So the total length is 15. It counts the spaces in the center. If any spaces to the end also, it gets counted. So now let me, create one more function. Let me call this as find equal to find. Let's say find text, okay? Let's say we have this text. So let's say I want to find this space, okay? The second space, not the first one. So find text within text, okay? In this case, the text is employee name, okay? Within employee name start position. So if I give the starting position as one, what it does, I'll get this, it, it counts the first space, okay? But I don't want the first space, I want the second space here, okay? So what I'll do is, I'll ignore the first space. So one, two, three. Now the first space is fourth character. So I'll count from the fifth character. So I'll give start position as five. So now I'll get the position of this second space in the entire text string, okay? Hit enter. You see, I'm getting this position. So the entire length is 15 and the space is in the 12th position. You see, it's 12, G is 13, 14, and E is, the last E is 15. So it's working, okay? And now let's try to use a left function here left equal to left of text is employee name and let's say number of characters uh let's say i want just the first three just the title okay comma three 
hit enter. As you can see, I'm getting the first three characters, Mr. Now let's try with mid function. Equal to mid of text, okay? This is a text, the column, employee name. And let's say start position. I want it to start from, let's say fifth position. Uh, fourth is space, so from O. So let's say I want to start from fifth position. And then let's say I want the entire, all the characters after the fifth position. So I'll say, let's say 25, okay. Randomly I selected 25. As you can see here, I'm getting all the characters starting from the fifth position until the end because I have given 25. Maybe if the text size is length is more than let's say 25, you can give like 50 or something. So you'll get all the fields starting from fifth position till the end. Okay, this is mid function. So now let's try to see the right function. Right off. Right. Say I want the right in this case, right? Orlando Gee. I want the right of run, let's say the last name that is GEE. -E. So what I'm gonna do is write off employee name, okay? So number of characters. So from, from, from the right, I want three characters, but for the, let's say, let's look at the second row here. Here, I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I just give three, I'll be getting only the last three alphabets, right? So I want this to be dynamic according to the rows, the length of the employee name, etc. So what I'm gonna do, first, let me calculate the length of this text size. Employee name, okay? And then let me subtract the position of this space. So I know the position is 12, right? So the length is 15. And if I subtract 15 minus 12, the remaining three, I'll be getting the last name. Similarly, it works for the second row as well. So what I'll do is find text within text, in this case, employee name, start position. I will start from the fifth character because if I start from first, I'll be getting this space, but I want this second space here. So what I'll do from fifth position because the title is always same, right? Mr. It's always three characters. So fifth position and then hit enter. Now you can see I'm getting only the last name. Guy, I don't know what is this, Carreras, Gates, etc. So it's working. So this is how you can use text function and to manipulate the columns and get the result according to your requirement. Hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you do not like the video, still you can leave a constructive comment so that it will help me to improve for my upcoming videos, okay? Thanks for watching, have a great day.